At InfoWars, we've been warning people for a long time about Agenda 21. It's being sold to the public as protection against global warming, water shortages, and the loss of endangered species. But global warming lately has hit a bump in the road as a record increase in CO2 has not resulted in higher temperatures, but falling temperatures. Although temperatures may be cooling, Agenda 21 is heating up with the government asserting control on the basis of water shortages and endangered species. Right now in Nevada, we can see how this is being played out. A ranching family that's had cattle grazing on public land since 1877 is now being forced off of public land, supposedly to save a desert tortoise. I'm Clive and Bundy. I live here on my ranch at Riverside, Nevada uh, with my wife and uh, I have I've raised 14 children here. I've got uh, 50, uh, 48 grandchildren. They're all cowboys and all cowgirls. I'm the last man standing in Clark County and actually the last man standing across the Mojave Desert, through the uh, Pacific Ocean that's actually in the ranching business. Cliven Bundy used to have 52 neighbors with ranches. Everyone but him has now been regulated off of the land and put out of business. Well, they're taking our cattle off the range. So we got over there just to take some pictures. We asked them about our First Amendment right to be able to view and take pictures. You know what they told us? They said, you have no right. Then they took my brother down because he was taking a picture and they tackled him and beat him up and they sicked a German Shepherd dog on him. Clearly, with 52 out of 53 ranches gone and no longer grazing on over 600,000 acres, the desert tortoise is not under pressure from the very last ranch remaining. And just last August, the Bureau of Land Management, the very same bureaucracy that's pointing snipers at the Bundy Ranch and arresting family members, the BLM announced that it would kill half of the 1,400 tortoises it kept and abandon the rest. It's not about the tortoise. The federal government has shown up in its brand new trucks and cattle trailers, stealing the cattle of the Bundy family. The Bundy family can be seen here looking the thieves in the eye and taking pictures of them as they drive off their cattle. We've got 200 something plus federal agents up there in a compound, a military compound that they have put together. And it is, uh, they've got snipers and uh, military, everybody's armed, put it that way. And, uh, and they have been monitoring our ranch with high tech uh, surveillance equipment. It wasn't about the grazing fees. It never was about the grazing fees. It's about the control. They want to eliminate me. They want to make this a, a national uh, conservation area with 13 wildernesses. In the name of sustainability and protection of the environment, the government is executing an incremental plan to remove people from the land and concentrate them into urban areas for greater control. As we've reported for a long time, the plan is scripted by the UN and called Agenda 21. It's the UN's agenda for the 21st century. This map shows the UN's plan for the near future. The areas in red will have no human use. Areas in yellow, highly regulated use. The light green areas are for normal use. Do you see much light green normal use area? I don't. It's a Hunger Game future of total government control with humans driven off of the land. It's well underway out west. Look at this map of the West showing how much land the federal government is already asserting ownership over and now acting as if it's their private fiefdom. When it comes to water shortages, they promote the virtue of sustainability. Yet, when local news in Florida did a story about a woman who had created a sustainable, off-the-grid dwelling using solar power and rainwater collection, the city cracked down on her the very next day, citing violation of an international code. A code enforcement officer came, knocked on the door, then post a placard that says uninhabitable property, do not enter. A Cape Coral code enforcement officer posting this notice to vacate. No hearing, no nothing. Putting a woman who lives by herself, who's a widow, out on the street without any notice. The notice cites International Property Maintenance Code and states the property is unsafe to be lived in. 
In Wyoming, a welder and his family built a stock pond on his eight acres, a place where his horses could drink and his children could play. But even though he followed all the rules at the time, the EPA has now written new rules to assert even more control. They're fining this man now $75,000 a day. He said, I've not paid them a dime, nor will I. I will go bankrupt if I have to, fighting it. This goes a lot further than a pond. It's about a person's rights. I have three little kids. I am not going to roll over and let the government tell me what I can do on my land. I followed the rules. Again, in Oregon, a man has been sent to jail and fined because he collected rainwater falling on his property. According to Oregon water laws, all water is publicly owned. Preaching sustainability but trying to evict anyone who practices it? Destroying all the ranches around Clark County, Nevada in the name of protecting a desert tortoise while the same bureaucracy kills over a thousand of these same tortoises? When the government takes our cattle, we become the cattle, dependent on them for food. Will we let them add regulations one at a time until we drown in tyranny? Or will we join together, achieving critical mass to act together to preserve our individual rights to property, to water, and to life? Help! 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 Help!